Hi everybody, it's Shuba. Welcome back to my channel. A few weeks ago, I uploaded a video with step-by-step -step instructions on how to transfer a Kindle ebook that you own to your Kobo device. After talking with many of you online, I was asked questions about how to transfer this over if you have a PC rather than an Apple or Mac product. I am here to share with you step-by-step -step instructions on how to transfer a Kindle ebook to your Kobo device if you have a PC. I hope this video is very helpful. Now let's get started. As a reminder, I want to make sure we all know that this should only be done for Kindle ebooks that you own and have purchased from the Kindle library and on Amazon.com. We want to make sure we support those authors. So first, what you're going to do is download Caliber. I went ahead and added the link down in the description box below so you can just open up that link. You'll download the Windows version and it should show up in your downloads file once you click it. Once you open it up, just save the file and we'll come back to it at a later time. Next, what we're going to do is download the DDRM plugin. I already have the link in the description box down below, so make sure you click on that to open up the most latest released file, which is version 10.0.3. You're going to scroll down to assets and click DDRM underscore tools underscore 10 dot zero dot three dot zip now you can save this to uh, whatever location you need to i saved it to my desktop but next what you're going to do is open up the caliber so you can download it fully as an application and install it to your computer once it's installed hit finish and open up your caliber Next, we're going to extract the DDRM tools. So once we extract it, we should get a folder on our desktop. Now we're gonna load that plugin. So go to Preferences on Caliber, select Plugins under Advanced, and then Load Plugin from File. You should see it at the bottom right. Once you click that, go to your desktop or destination where you saved that extracted folder. I have mine on desktop, and then you're going to select the DDRM underscore plugin dot zip. Open it up, and then you'll get this are you sure question. Select yes, and then now make sure you restart your caliber. This is important, just so everything can get reset on caliber. Once caliber opens back up again, we're going to double check that it's loaded. So go to preferences, go to plugins, and then under file type, you should see that the DDRM plugin is loaded successfully. Now we're going to customize our plugin. So select customize plugin, and then Kindle e ink e books. This is where we're going to add our Kindle's serial number. You can find the serial number on your phone, on your Kindle, or on your Amazon.com account preferences. You just need to find the serial number of your Kindle and you'll add it right here. I already added my serial number, so that is why I'm not going to go through this process. So you'll just put in your serial number and then you'll hit OK and then OK again. Now hit apply at the bottom right corner and then close this preferences box. Next, what we're going to do is go to our content on amazon.com under our account settings, and we're going to download a book from our content library. As an example, I'm going to download Grey Dog by Elliot Gish. So at the right side, you'll see more actions. You'll select download and transfer via USB. Select the Kindle you're going to download it from. Mine is Shuba's Oasis, and then I'm going to hit download. Make sure you save it to a place where you'll easily find it. I just am going to save it on my desktop. Go back to your caliber, hit add books, and select the book that you have on your desktop that you downloaded from Amazon. This should pop up on your caliber now. As you can see, I have Great Dog. Now you're going to convert book and a pop-up should form up. For the output format, choose EPUB and then hit OK. Once the job is complete, now all we need to do is plug in our Kobo device to our computer. So at this time, go ahead and plug in your Kobo device. 
To add your ebook to your Kobo, you're going to find your Kobo Drive. I found mine within my computer. And what you're going to do next is just drag the Gray Dog file that's on Caliber to your Kobo Drive. So as you can see, that's what I'm doing now. I'm just dragging it over and placing it in the Kobo Drive itself. And you'll see that the Gray Dog book is at the very bottom of my Kobo Drive. Now you just have to disconnect and eject your Kobo from the computer and you should be good to go. You will notice that your Kobo will take a minute to load and update and then you'll have access to the book that you used at this time to transfer over from your Kindle to your Kobo. All right, friends, after all of those steps, now your Kindle ebook should be on your Kobo device. As you can see right here throughout this video, we transferred over Grey Dog by Elliot Gish, and now I have the book on my Kobo Libra Color, and I can't wait to start reading. I hope this video was so helpful, and like I mentioned previously, comment down below if you have any questions, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, but I am no pro, but I'm sure I could maybe help you out, and other people on the YouTube community can help each other out by answering any questions as needed. Thank you so much, and have a great day. Happy reading! Bye.